Hello, I just want to pop on here before the main feature starts um, because like all people who make content for YouTube we film it a little bit ahead of time and schedule it for release on a certain day and then obviously things happen <laughs> and so I'm talking to you today on Friday the 9th of September 2022 and yesterday the Queen died the Queen who has been my monarch for the whole of my life. I've only ever known a Queen. And she has been rather a spectacular monarch. Not just beloved by the people in this country, but all over the world. And um, so for all of those years, she's uh, been the figurehead of my country. And so I couldn't really start a video full of fun. <laughs> Um, which is coming in a minute, without actually acknowledging that, because the whole country now is um, reflecting on her and her life. She was 96 years old, and so I don't think it's um, a big surprise, you know, that it, it, can't, it can't be a shock uh, for a 96-year-old to die. She had a very um, easy uh, last few months and was ill for a short period of time. And so I think that um, I feel appropriate uh, uh, about that. It still doesn't make it any less uh, dramatic, though, the impact it's going to have on the country and on the world. And so now, this morning, I wake up for the first time and I have a king. It's never happened to me before. The Queen of England, the Queen of the United Kingdom, the Queen of the Commonwealth, she had a special place in many, many people's hearts. And I think she did an amazing job and a, and a very difficult one too. I think it must have been really hard to have been that much in the public eye and have her family and her life scrutinised like she did. Everywhere she went, you know, just to be received with that amount of love. And so we're entering into a new era today. And today it's early morning and it's pouring with rain outside. And I often think that the weather reflects my mood, but I think today that the weather reflects the mood of the, na the, mood of the nation. Maybe, I don't know. So uh, I remember when I went to New Zealand and all the public buildings have photographs of the Queen in them. And um, I remember feeling very, um, very much like I belonged there, very much like it was a special hug from New Zealand because of, of that connection that she had with the Commonwealth. So I think going forward, um, the, the new king, he's got some very um, sound ideas about the environment uh, and, um, and about, um, you know, that, that whole... I'm very confident that the king, King Charles III, it's very odd to say that, when the whole of my life it's been Queen Elizabeth II. And so lots of adjustments are having to be made now throughout the whole country and throughout the world. And so there were many things about the Queen that people absolutely loved. And as recently as her jubilee, when she did that little piece uh, in the palace with Paddington Bear, she was she was up for a bit of fun like that, and uh, and so she sat with Paddington Bear talking about marmalade sandwiches, um, and so I I just think she had a little bit of a sense of fun, but she lived a life of duty, which must have been really sometimes very hard for her. So I just wanted before we start on the video which is coming next, I just wanted to acknowledge the fact that. Uh, the nation is thinking about her today and uh, there's going to be a lot of tributes paid uh, throughout the world now. So I'll leave you with this little picture and then we'll get on to the video. Hello YouTube friends. I'm excited because this has just arrived through the post and I want to open it with you. I know what it is. In fact, if I rattle it, you probably do as well. I think you do, don't you? Now, for ages now, I've been in conversation with a jigsaw making company uh, with their guy, Andrew, who we've been back and forth. Oh, big tapey noise. We've been back and forth with ideas for a last homely house jigsaw. 
oh sorry about that big noise and here it is I chose one of the images that Anna took for the calendar last year it's one of my favorite images it's the thread cabinet and that corner with the postage stamp curtains and this is my advanced copy if you like and I'm going to do the jigsaw let's have a look at it I'm really pleased that when you see this video these jigsaws will be for sale in the shop uh, now we we talked a, a lot about the number of pieces, the size of the pieces, all of that. And what I decided for our first jigsaw, because if this goes well, I think this is going to be the first of many. And I decided, um, lots of um, advice from Andrew and the company that makes these. They're a little family owned company in Dorset, which is a place I've never been. But in here then, we have a 500 piece jigsaw and I particularly wanted the pieces not to be really, really tiny. I love making jigsaws, I really do. And so what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to make it on this cutting mat so that I can cover it over with a cloth when I'm not making it, or I can move it and store it somewhere when visiting grandchild or cats start to interfere with what I'm doing here. And so the, the pieces, are a decent size and that's what I wanted. I didn't want really, really tiny pieces. So I'm going to get all the edges out. Is that how you do a jigsaw? I get all the edges out first and make the edges. I'm very pleased with this. It's excellent quality. And that was what I was uh, concerned to see with this advanced copy, that it was going to be um, a lovely jigsaw to do. And so it turns out to be. I chose this design because there's a lot of little details on there, which I think will make it uh, a pleasure to do. It's not baked beans or all white all over. Definitely not. <laughs> there are some very hard jigsaws. There's a corner, a very prized piece. In fact, that corner is there. Oh, no, it's not. That corner's there because the grain of the table is running that way. Ah, yes, I'm going to get very intimate with this jigsaw by the time I'm finished with it. So I'm going to, uh, so actually the way that I usually do it, I'll show you, is I rake all the pieces up to one end and then I put the pieces back down in the box so that I can find any corners that there are or edges. Three more corners to find and all the edges. So I'm going to do that I maybe some time. Everywhere I look though that I can see a little bit and I know what it is, there's this plant here. So it's going to be interesting because there's my knitting here, Agnes's hexagons here, this lovely cupboard with all the bits and pieces and my drawers, this plant and the grey pot, some books here and then all these postage stamp curtains. There's going to be plenty of interest. Oh no, don't put that there. You have a system, Kate. Stick to your system. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to do that now. I'll get back to you when I've found all the edges and we'll do the edges. It's 27 by 19 so it's 27 along here yeah and 19 high I'm just going to keep going for a little bit longer and see if I can get the edges done I really wouldn't appreciate you up here though Cat Rita not really I do like you very much but not up here but like I'm saying all the tiny little squares of the postage stamp block uh, it's not helpful is it <laughs> they are going to be really tricky. So I haven't even finished the edges yet. Uh, what are we going to do with you? I need you to get down there. 
Thank you. Okay, so round the edges here, there's a little bit of this board that's got my Liberty Fabric project on it. And I've found all of those bits there. Up at the top of the jigsaw here, there are all these, um, my lovely glass lanterns here. And so I found the little bits of glass and the little bits of metal around the top of the glass and they were very satisfying to isolate there. Let's see if I can put those together. So what I'm going to say is this is not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Of course not. <laughs> um, it's very satisfying though when you get a piece together. Now when I spoke to the guy who I commissioned this jigsaw from we talked a lot back and forth about, ah there's another bit, this is another bit of um, um, the lanterns along the top. We talk back and forth quite a lot about what size the pieces should be. I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer. I wonder if that's a little better. Yeah, I think the tricky thing here is that the fabrics in the background curtains don't just appear once, they appear many times. Got another one in there. It's very, very exciting when you get one in. In fact, no, that doesn't work there. It's all right though, don't panic. <laughs> it's gonna be far oh, there, there. There's another one of the lanterns there. There are four of those lanterns all together. Oh, that's a piece from the main puzzle. I don't know how you got in the edges. Out you get. Yay, bingo. I'm putting, the, when I get two together, I'm putting them up there. I could be some time, YouTube friends. I could be some time. I'll show you at the end. Well, it's a few days later now, and I finished the puzzle. Um, I did it on this table here, on my cutting mat, uh, because I had this idea that if I needed to move it, it would be really easy just to lift up and move. But in fact, I haven't moved it. I've covered it over with a cloth when I've not been working on it. And um, so I finished it this morning and I thought I'd talk to you about it a little bit. And normally I think when you do a 500 piece jigsaw, it's much smaller and the pieces are much smaller. But what I've really, really loved about making this jigsaw is um, the size of it. I mean, yeah, it's still a 500 piece jigsaw, but it's, it's big enough now for me to see really clearly. I love doing this with a jigsaw when I'm finished, putting my hands across it like that. Now, I know there are some people who now would stick that onto a piece of cardboard and keep it made like that, or put it in a frame or stick it on the wall. Uh, and, and I know that there are some people who do that. I don't do that. I put it back in the box and I'll pass it on to a friend who enjoys doing puzzles. I've got uh, two people in mind who might enjoy doing this one next. And, um, but what I would say is, whatever you do, whether you stick it in a frame or whether you break it up as soon as you finished it, I think you're going to enjoy doing this jigsaw. I enjoyed it because everything on here is, is has a, a memory for me. Uh, and I love that about it, this bit of knitting here. The, the corner doesn't look quite like this now. It looks a bit untidier now. But that day that I tidied it up for this uh, photograph, uh, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. So this jigsaw then, uh, we I only made a limited number because I wasn't sure, uh, you know, how many jigsaw fans I've got on the lime green sofa. <laughs> but I'm really interested to see uh, if, uh, if, if it has um, an audience out there. If people really like it, I can print more because this little company that I'm using, a family firm in Dorset, and the guy I'm dealing with is called Andrew, and he's really enthusiastic. Uh, and I, I sent him a few different images, and he has an opinion about what would make a good jigsaw and what wouldn't. 
And this one has made a good jigsaw, I think. It may be that I do more jigsaws in the future if people like them. I love doing puzzles and um, it's been ages since I did one. So I've really, really enjoyed the opportunity to do this one. So this is in the shop now. If you wanted to hop over to the shop, uh, it's not like uh, they're all going to sell out or anything because I think there's a very limited number of people who like doing jigsaw puzzles. And uh, are you there on the sofa? This has taken me maybe, I don't know, maybe four or five different sittings. I mean, I pushed on this morning because I really wanted to finish it. So I did all the um, curtains this morning. I finished those off. Uh, and I just really wanted to get the thing finished. Anyway, guys, that's all I have to say about the jigsaw. Uh, I really hope um, that it, it, some people will be interested in this one. Um, and uh, I'll catch up with you next time when uh, there'll be something else going on here at the Last Homely House. Always something happening at the Last Homely House, isn't there? Thanks for watching. You know what's coming next. Subscribe. <laughs> Press the notifications bell if you have subscribed and then you won't miss when I post random videos. And leave a comment. Uh, I might do a wee poll in the community tab about jigsaws because I'm really interested to know if people like them. And now I'm going to cover this over and then the cat can come and jump on the table if she wants to. She's right here. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye now.